Hey, Lena Loonies! Today we're going to take a different path. This one is into the world of Pyria. So I'm gonna dive deep into Wigs of Fire. Let's get into it. Let's dive into Wigs of Fire by Tui T. Sutherland. What an interesting name. <laughs> the graphic no wait, the graphic novel. Oh Um, I don't read graphic novels. Um uh, I <laughs> why'd you give me this? This isn't even Um <laughs> This <Sorry>. this is <laughs> This is, this is what I was reading. I don't read graphic novels because they're not real books. <laughs> Sorry. This is Wigs of Fire by Tui T. Sutherland, and it's the Dragon A Prophecy. <laughs> so let's get into it. I'll tell you guys a little bit about what I love about this book, the ratings, and, you know, what kind of characters I really liked. So, you know, when I first read this, I, you know, seeing the Dragon A prophecy, I, I thought for sure there'd be little snippets of French in there, you know? But, you know, as I was reading it, it was very English. <laughs> um, so that was a bit of a letdown. Um, however, I really love the storyline, you know, like dragons flying to, like, save the day. <laughs> and about, like, um, Clay. Oh, Clay. Let's talk about Clay. Now listen, Clay, sweetie, in my heart, he's so hot. Oh my goodness. And Riptide, was that his name? No, it was Rip, it was Ripshine. <laughs> Ripshine was definitely my favorite. Very flirty, very cute. You know, and I just think the people who made the graphic novel just did a really good, oh, I mean, the people who made the book, Tui T. Sutherland, <laughs> did a really great job, you know, and just making the characters seem so attractive, even as dragons. <laughs> so when I was reading, I thought it was just so cute, the relationship between Ripshine and Tsunami. Like, oh my gosh, power couple. <laughs> That's me and my boyfriend right there. <laughs> Love you, Dave. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to give you guys a little um, <laughs> sneak peek into the story itself. So, um, just like from memory, because I can remember like everything in it as, um, it's like Clay has lived his whole life, um, under, under the mountain and the mudwing dragonette knows that the war <laughs> is raging and, um, between the dragon tribes in the world outside, outside of, outside. Yeah. So it's about this huge war or whatever. And honestly, like that was such a good setup to have like love and stuff in it. Anyway, um, I thought I would also give my rating, so let's dive into that. I would give Wigs of Fire, book one, Dragon A, a prophecy, <laughs> a four sparkle. Okay, now guys, don't come at me. I know, that's pretty high. But the French stuff kind of confused me. Why have it say, why have it say Dragon A of Prophecy if it's not going to be in French? <laughs> I don't know. However, the characters are what made it a four sparkle, I must say. Really good book. You guys should read it. Let me know what you guys want me to review next. Okay, love you, Lena Loonies. And Dave. <laughs> 